Hello everyone, it's Ed with Dual Brain MTG here, and we're going to talk about taking a stand against LP cards being passed off as near mint. Let's talk about I it. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. A lot of us have had this re uh, experience recently where we go shopping on TCG Player, we see near mint, we buy it, and we get the card, and it's very much like play there's nicks the corners aren't great you look at the surface there's surface scuffing and it's like bro this isn't near mint and they say oh by the you know the the book of the definition of near mint that it can have one or two flaws and it's like yes 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 sometimes technically they're right but it's like sometimes they're really not and a lot of people just bite the bullet and keep the card because it's something they wanted. But, you know, I think it's time we take a stand against these freaking, you know, scammers, basically. And not only always return it, demand that they pay return shipping. And then, and then maybe report them for the condition of the card. Like, you shouldn't be able to persist this bs if anything if your card is near mint advertise it as lp undersell your card unless you have pictures to prove it uh, you know it's just like near mint is near mint lp is lp and mint is mint i don't understand how people don't get it nowadays um card kingdom even is kind of iffy nowadays you order a card kingdom in near mint you're getting an lp card and it's like Maybe it's the upper end of LP, but still, return it. Don't accept that crap. You wanted a near mint card. You're not going to be happy with an LP card. I think people need to be choosier and to, be, to stand up for themselves. Like, don't be afraid to return it either. If you wanted a near mint card, you wanted a near mint card for a reason. You didn't want to just go out there and get any old card or any old version. Otherwise, you'd just buy a moderately played one. Okay? You went out there to get near mint. So, why would you accept anything less? Let's take a stand. Let's... I think people who continually abuse this as a seller, the their selling platform should at least know what's happening. I think we should start reporting it more to like eBay customer service and TCG customer service. Let's get this taken care of. We need a standardized grading, um, uh, I guess a standard for grading when it comes to raw cards. I, I think it is subjective, but it's also not that subjective. You know, like I know a lot of these people who are passing them off know that their cards are light play and not near mint. Yeah, that's, I think that's enough of a rant about not accepting near mint and just, and, and really let's let, near mint, not accepting light play as near mint. Let, let's, let's take a stand. Let's, let's try and change things over time. People can't always just think that they're going to get away with it. It's as BS, man. It hurts the rest of us. It hurts the market. It hurts. It makes more rules. It makes more like, uh, more angst and anxiety out there. Uh, remember to like and sub if you're going to be shopping on TCG player today. Remember to click through my link in the description and shop like normal. It's free to use and it helps a lot. Check out my Patreon, everybody. We need more peeps for some box breaks. Otherwise, take care. Have a nice day. And peace. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we can build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?